Wind turbines. The latest attraction along the Pacific coast in northern Chile. Three wind farms were built here last year. It's great that they created this viewing point, so we can see what we in Chile are doing with our renewable energy resources. The giant turbines tower over the Pan American Highway. There are more than 80 in the three wind parks, built by companies from Spain, Britain and Norway. SN Power from Norway operates El Totoral wind farm, which generates enough carbon neutral electricity for 50,000 households. Generating that energy with fossil fuels would create 65,000 tons of carbon dioxide. Of course, the turbines only work if there's enough wind. But here on the Pacific coast, that's rarely a problem. The wind farm's technical director, Felix Sanjueza, explains the state of the art equipment. The wind speed is 9 meters a second right now. The turbines can deal with up to 20 meters a second. That's about 80 kilometers an hour. The conditions here are excellent for converting wind to renewable energy. We want to set an example and show that it does make sense to invest in renewable energy. We want to tell people, look, our wind farm is running just great. I think it would be really stupid nowadays not to use modern technology to produce clean energy and protect the environment. Chile has plenty of wind and plenty of space. Much of the country is thinly populated. And so far, there are only a few wind farms. Experts say Chile could probably use wind to generate all its electricity. Reliable data is needed to gauge the potential for wind-based power. So far, measurements have been taken at existing wind farms. But now a project is underway with the help of Germany's GTZ Technical Development Aid Agency. It aims to build masts at 20 sites to measure wind speeds. Tim Patrick Meyer is in charge of the project. Basically, there are very good sites for harnessing wind energy, the entire length of the country. In the north, they're in the highland desert, at an altitude of about 2,000 meters. Here in central Chile and in the south, there are lots of suitable sites along the coast. Chile could generate much more power than it needs. The wind speed data is used to generate a detailed map showing the best spots for building wind farms. On the basis of our findings so far, using wind speed data and the results of other research at various sites, the government has earmarked two large areas for wind energy projects. That means that until further notice, the land can't be used for other purposes. The wind farms have changed the lives of the locals. The town of Canela is 300 kilometers north of the capital, Santiago. It has a population of 2,000. Fifteen years ago, the region was one of the poorest in Chile. Herman Castillo is a local baker and store owner. Many workers at the nearby wind farms now come to buy their breakfast here. That's doubled his sales. And thanks to the wind farms, there are fewer power outages. We definitely benefit from the wind farms because they provide more electricity. When I first opened my bakery, the power would keep fluctuating, especially at night. If the voltage dropped a lot, the machines didn't work, and nor could I. 
Entonces yo no podía trabajar con menos energía porque mis equipos no funcionaban. Drought is another major problem for the people of Canela. Rain has been scarce for the past 11 years. Farmers here used to grow fruit and vegetables. Now they depend on odd jobs to make a living. Oscar Rojas and his brothers are pinning their hopes on the wind farm industry. What we lack in Canela is rain. We have no factories, no fisheries. The rivers have all dried up. The green fields have withered. There's no work harvesting grapes. There is no grape harvest here anymore. That's why we hope more wind farms will be built in the area. The modern side of Chile can be seen in Santiago. The economy is growing. Power consumption nationwide is increasing at a rate of 6% a year. In cooperation with a local research institute, Tim Patrick Meyer analyzes the wind speed data. New tracts of land are to be made available this year, and investors will be able to submit bids to build new wind farms. We know of many companies, both German and Chilean, that are interested in building new farms, also on sites where we've already collected data, although it hasn't been made public. Chile now aims to generate 5% of its electricity from wind farms by 2014.